Hello and welcome to another Blender quick tip. Uh, this time I want to show you how you can make your character leave footprints on the ground. For example on the muddy landscape that we created in another tutorial. So I'm using the same setup as in this tutorial. I am show you how this landscape looks at the moment by rendering it. Um, as you can see it is the landscape that we created last time. To preview it I'm gonna reduce the preview value from my multi-resolution modifier so it can run fluently. So as you can see my dinosaur is walking on the ground but he is not leaving any footprints on the ground and I want to change this. So how can we do that? Well um, we're going to use dynamic paint again and we set the dinosaur to brush. Simply click add brush in the dynamic paint settings and that's all you have to do for the dinosaur. Select the ground and add a dynamic paint canvas. By default it is set to a paint in the surface type. If I run the animation now it will look like this. The dinosaur is painting on the ground. That's not what we want, we want it to displace. And that is basically all you have to do. Run the animation and you see what happens. He leaves footprints on the ground just as I wanted him to. The problem is they do not look very much like his foot did and that is because the resolution of my multi race modifier is not high enough. So I'm going to increase this to achieve better results for my footprints. With enough resolution you can just hit bake dynamics and let the computer compute for a moment and there you see your result. And now if your dinosaur walks about the ground he leaves this nice footprint. And now I have also a particle system included in my landscape. And the problem is that the ground gets deformed nicely but the particles do not. So you can see the dinosaur is passing through them and the grass do not react to his feet. And I want to change this too. I turned off the multi-resolution modifier for a moment so we can work freely. Now add a force field force and this will track and push the grass around as you can see here. And this force field will be added, uh, will be parented to the bone of the dinosaur. Now if he is moving his feet around he will push the grass away. Set minimum and maximum values you can see them highlighted as the dotted lines around the object and this is the area that is going to be deformed by his feet. And that's pretty much all. You add an object like this for both feet or even more than one object if you want to have it more detailed. Unfortunately you can't use other forms than the circles around his foot. But I think it is good enough for a test like this. So I combine these two techniques and this is what it looks now. Of course this works with every object so if your dinosaur would fall over in the mud he would leave his marks as well. Thank you for watching, please feel free to ask questions in the comments and goodbye.